What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show here today. We have the Rockies coming to town for a three game set. As you can see, we have completely opposite records. The Diamondbacks at 11 and 4, Rockies at 4 and 11. So yeah, this should be a really fun series to play. Hopefully we can have some good luck against them as I didn't do quite as good in Colorado as I thought I would. And here we go, bottom of the first. Rockies are up two to nothing. Runner on first and two away as I'm standing in, batting fourth in the order. Got the cleanup spot yet again. And we get a dynamic challenge because of that runner on first. Uh, we'll just try to advance the runner. That sounds like a plan to me. Michael King is on the mound for the Rockies. He hits 96 on the sinker, 97 on his four seamer. Also gets 90 on the circle change. And swinging a miss on the slur well below the knees on the outside third. And that's an 0-1 count to start my at-bat. I have to remember these guys are going to pitch around me. That one was not a pitch around, but I was still way out in front of a slurve on the outer third. And it's an 0-2 count after fouling that one away. The two-strike pitch now from Michael King. Way outside with the slurve. We watched that one, though, for a ball. One and two the count for me. Let's see what we get with pitch number four of the at-bat. Swing and a miss at a four-seamer above the zone. Man, they are pitching around me, and I am falling for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Except I don't think I saw a sinker in that at-bat. One inning is coming gone, though, in Arizona. And it's a 2-0 lead for the Rockies. We come back. It's top of the second. Runners on first and second. Two away. Brandon Fott on the mound for the Diamondbacks is getting tore up early here. Lamont Bartley at the plate for the second time of the game already for the Rockies. He's got a 1-1 count against Spot. And we'll see what happens here. If this is going to be a simple ground ball out or not. Hot shot. Not going to get to that one down the third baseline into left field. And they're sending him. And it's now a 3-0 ball game. Colorado Rockies have a big lead here early on. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Top of the fourth now. Still a 3-0 ball game. Runner on first. Two away for Colin Price. He drew a walk in his first plate appearance, so no official at-bat so far. He does have a 167 batting average. Brandon Fott somehow still on the mound for the Diamondbacks. He's only thrown 46 pitches to get to this point. And still got three runs hung on him so far. And we'll scoop up that shot down the line. Throw to first will be in time. Gets him by a step to retire the side. So finally we get through an inning without surrendering a run to the Rockies. That's uh, first for the game, I believe. We're going to come back bottom half here. Two outs, nobody on. I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day with Michael King still towing the rubber for the Rockies. He's having a heck of a day up there. Only thrown 46 pitches so far. First pitch of this at-bat from him. And it's off the plate away with a sinker. One and oh, the count. Come on there, big guy. One oh pitch now from King. Shot one down the third baseline and into left field. Yeah, we're going for the double. Why not? Come on, baby. Get in there. Get in there. Yep, throws offline. So easy double there. That's nice to get a base hit. <clears throat> Even if uh, the rest of the team isn't doing a whole heck of a lot yet. But it's still early in the game, I guess. It's out of the fifth. It's a 3-1 ball game now, so they did push me across the plate there. But uh, runner on second, two away for Ryan McMahon. He's 0 for 2 on the day, hitting only 231 on this young season. He's worked an 0-2 count against Brandon Fott. And this will be pitch number 60 for him. It's a ground ball to me at third. We'll scoop it up, throw across. And that retires the side. We're moving on. We come back bottom of the sixth. Four to one the score. Colorado in the lead. I'm standing in one for two on the day with a double and a run scored. We have a runner on first and nobody out with Michael King still on the mound for the Rockies. First pitch of this at bat from him. Just off the outside corner at the knees and it's a one and O oh count. Come on big fella. Second pitch of the at-bat now from King. Oh, he hit me with the slurve up and in in the zone. And I took it for a strike. One and one the count. Don't know if there's much I really could have done with that pitch. That's not a, one of my better spots in the zone, that's for sure. The one-one pitch from him, though. Right down the middle, we send it out to right center field, but there's too much air under that. That will get caught. Yep, right fielder makes the play in the alley. 
And that is out number one in the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the eighth, we come back, still a 4-1 ball game. Runner on second, one away. I'm standing in one for three on the day, and we have Riley Pint on the mound for the Rockies out of the bullpen. He hits 100 on the four-seamer, 90 on the slider. And that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch to the at-bat. Ooh, slider on the outside corner had me out in front. Oh, and one the count. I'm hitting a whopping 200 with runners in scoring position this season. Just off the inside corner at the knees, called a ball, thankfully, in front of 36,377. We're looking at a 1-1 pitch now from Riley Pint. Ooh, four-seamer. He is just clipping the corner of the zone there. His pitches are right on the edges there. He's doing a heck of a job up there, I'd say, with his locations. 1-2 pitch, though, out in front of a slider. It was above the knees, and that one's fouled off down the third baseline. So the count remains 1-2 and two after four pitches. The next one from Pint. Swing and a miss at a curveball below the knees. Yep, they are getting me all over the place in this game. And the Diamondbacks are going to take the loss to the Rockies. 4-1 to one, the final score here. That is only our fifth loss of the season. And two of our five losses have been against the Rockies now. We're going to go on to game number two, though. You know what that means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't, uh, yeah, if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. We come in top of the second, two outs, runners on first and second. Brenton Doyle at the plate for the Rockies. He's hitting 273 on the season so far. <clears throat> and the Diamondbacks have Brian Wu on the mound. He's already thrown 32 pitches here just through the first uh, inning in two-thirds. 0-1 pitch to Doyle. It's going to be a ground ball to me at third. We're going to scoop that up. Throw across the diamond because apparently they don't like it when I try to tag the bag. But it's in time, and that's going to retire the side. We're going to move on to the bottom half of the second where I'm going to be leading off as I'm hitting in the cleanup position again. My 17 RBI so far this season is fourth in the National League. When I'm standing in with the bases empty and nobody to be out, Kyle Harrison on the mound, only threw six pitches in the first inning. And I get a dynamic challenge because there's nobody on. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try for that. Hit a single or better. Harrison does throw a 96-mile-an-hour four-seamer. Uh, 89 on the circle change, 90 on the slider, 84 on his slurve. First pitch from the left-hander outside with a slurve. 1-0 and oh, the count to start this at-bat. Finally laying off one outside the zone to start an A-B. Second pitch is a four-seamer on the outer third, and we send it into center field. That'll be a base hit. We'll take it. It's a successful dynamic challenge. And it extends my little baby hit streak, which I think is only at two games now. Bottom of the fourth. <clears throat> two outs, nobody on. No score currently. I'm standing in one for one on the day. Kyle Harrison still on the mound for the Rockies. And the first pitch of this at-bat. In the zone, and we rip at the left center field. That's going to get down. You betcha going to one hop the wall left fielder picks it up throws into the relay man and I have a stand up double here in the bottom of the fourth with two outs we'll take that two hit ball game is never a bad thing bottom of the sixth we come back Rockies now have a lead two to one the score one out and a runner on first for me as I'm standing in two for two on the day Kyle Harrison still on the mound for the Rockies and first pitch of this at bat from him oh late swing on a slurve that caught the inner third that's an 0-1 count. Man, I thought that was going to be a four-seamer up and away, and no, that hooked in and got me. 0-1 pitch. A check swing. Come on, game. Ever since they did that update the other day, I have not been able to get anything good out of a check swing. 0-2 the count for me. Next pitch from Kyle Harrison. Inside with a four-seamer. 1-2 and two the count. All right, pitch number four of the at-bat here. Come on, big fella. Let me do some damage. Uh, that's not going to do some damage. Four-seamer off the inside corner, sent out to center field. That will get caught. And that is out number two here in the bottom of the sixth. We're moving on. Top of the eighth, it's a 2-2 ball game now. Nolan Jones at the plate for the Rockies. He's one for three on the day. And the Diamondbacks have Hobie Milner on the mound out of the bullpen. He's worked a 2-1 count with one out and nobody on here, so let's see what happens. Wind up and the pitch from the lefty Milner. 
Ground ball to me at third. That's a simple pickup. Throw across. And that's out number two in the top of the eighth. I like it. I like it a lot. Bottom half of the inning, Colorado is leading 3-2 to two now. Runner on second, two away. I'm standing in two for three on the day, three for seven on the series. Yeri Rodriguez is on the mound, but it doesn't matter because they're intentionally walking me. Come on, man. Somehow the Diamondbacks end up walking it off, though. We'll take that. A win is a win. Let's see what that final score ended up being here. Yeah, I know. I went two for three on the day with a walk. And... Yeah, four to three, the final score as we put up uh, some picket fences there in the last third of the game. That works for me. Let's move on to game number three, though. Let's see who can win the rubber match of this three-game set with the Rockies in town. Come on, PlayStation. There we go. Here we are. Bottom of the second, no score. Nobody out, nobody on. Kevin Bryant on the mound for the Rockies. He hits 94 on the four-seamer, 90 on his two-seamer, and that is all he has that's quick. First pitch of the at-bat from him. In the zone, and we crank it out to center field. One pitch, one out here in the bottom of the second, because there's no way he's missing that one. Yeah. That's unfortunate. We come back top of the fourth, still a scoreless ball game. Two outs and a runner on first for Anthony Mulrine. He's one for one on the day, and he's worked an 0-2 count against Eduardo Rodriguez here. Wind up and the pitch is going to be a pop-up. We'll take that. And the side is retired. Three and a half innings have come and gone here in Arizona, and we are still scoreless. We come back bottom of the fourth. Nobody out, nobody on. I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day and 3 for 8 on the series. Kevin Bryant still on the mound for the Rockies. He's doing a good job up there, I'd say. Four seamer below the knees to start the second at-bat of my game here. We have a 1-0 count. Oh, check swing on a curveball. Duh, got me on that one. That's a tip of the cap. He got me. Hook, line, and sinker. 1-1 one, one pitch now from Bryant. Chopper to second. That's not going to be a base hit. No, sir. 4-3 put out is how we're going to score that one. In case you're keeping track at home. Top of the fifth, we come back. Arizona is leading 1-0 now with Lamont Bartley at the plate for the Rockies. Third time at the dish already. And he's 0-2 for 2 on the day. Only 2-10 for 10 on the series. One out, nobody on for him. 0-1 pitch on the way from Eduardo Rodriguez. It's a ground ball to me at third. We'll scoop it up. Throw across the diamond. It'll be in plenty of time. And that is out number two here in the visitors' half of the fifth. Bottom half of the inning. Two outs. Bases loaded. I'm standing in 0 for 2 on the day. 3 for 9 in the series. Still a 1-0 ball game. And Kevin Bryant on the mound. Let's see if we can knock him out of the game here with a run scoring hit. Oh, four-seamer just off the outside corner. Got a piece of it and fouled it away. Oh, and won the count for me as my batting average is down to a 190 with runners in scoring position this season. Next pitch. Check swing on the changeup below the knees. Oh, I'm trying to be the hero way too much here. All right, two-strike pitch on the way here from Bryant. Ripped into left. That'll get caught. No, it's down in front of the left fielder, so we're... Two runs will score on that single. Wow. I thought for sure that was going to be a little blooper caught by the left fielder, but he held up to let it drop. I don't get that at all. I think he should have tried to get it. Six to nothing to score now, top of the six with Arizona in the lead. Nobody out, nobody on. Nolan Jones at the plate. He drew a walk earlier in the game. Has a 305 batting average on this young season, and he's got a 1-2 count against Eduardo Rodriguez. Wind up and the pitch from the lefty, and it's a bunt down the third base line. Bare hand grab and go, not going to be in time. Bunt for a hit is successful for Nolan Jones. It's good time for that, I suppose. Bottom of the seventh, six to one the score. So the Colorado Rockies have gotten on the scoreboard. They're not getting shut out today. Chase Cheney is on the mound now out of the bullpen for the Rockies. One out, nobody on in the bottom of the seventh. And Cheney has a 95 mile an hour four seamer. That's all he's got that's quick. First pitch from him. Oh, we watched a four-seamer lower inside corner of the zone. Oh, and won the count. Second pitch now from Cheney. That's sent into center field. Caught by the center fielder? Yeah, it was. Okay. I was going to say, they didn't show that very well there. But... 
Top of the ninth, we come back 9 to 2 the score. Arizona in the lead. One out, nobody on for Lamont Bartley. He's 0 for 4 on the day today. Has a 2 2 count against Miguel Castro, who's now on the mound for the Diamondbacks out of the bullpen. The 2 2 pitch from him. Little shot to me at third. Throw across. Oh, wild throw. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Oh, throwing error from me. It should have been out number two, but nope. Throwing error. Dang it all. Diamondbacks still win the game 9-3, to the final score, despite my throwing error in the top of the ninth. So that's a good thing. We take two of three from the visiting Rockies, which is exactly how I wanted that to go. Would have liked to see the sweep, but uh, didn't stand too much of a chance of that in game one. So, that's going to be the end of this series. Also going to be the end of the episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. And we will see you in the next one.